What's going on people? It's your boy, it's Antonio. Here again, video after video, I keep bringing them to you. Um, obviously it's Antonio, my Instagram is below. Like and subscribe or dislike and subscribe, whatever's best for you. <laughs> and leave a comment if you don't mind. Um, so yeah, so what's happening? So UFC 270. The label in this, the biggest heavyweight fight of all time. It may not be, just a bit of wind, sorry. It may not be the biggest pay-per-view seller. Okay, that's Brock. But in in regards to skill-wise, there's still some debates out there. Come here, this is the biggest. Maybe like the for knockout artist, um, this is probably like the biggest uh, heavyweight fight of all time. Um, so we'll see about that. So it's UFC 270. You've got Francis Ngannou, the champion. Versus Cyril Gunn. It's going to be an awesome fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an awesome fight. Um, obviously, let's look. Let's break it down. Let's have a quick, I'm just going to have a quick talk. I'm not going to make my prediction or anything like that. Or talk about the rest of the card. I'm literally just going to talk about this fight here. Um, so Cyril Gunn, he moves like a welterweight. He's a genius at managing distance. He's a genius at staying away from power shots. Look how he fought against Derek Lewis. Stayed away from the power shots, circled, took out the legs, and then went up top. Took out the legs of body, went up top. He just kept taking out the legs, went up top. Avoiding the power of Derek Lewis. Keeping it, keeping it lateral movement, keeping it moving. And just hitting him with legs and body shots. Until he chipped away enough in the third, I think it was the third round. And then he saw, the he, like it was like food food in the oven he like he looked at it yeah it's about right and then let's took him out of there you get me like boom took him out of there you see me um but Derek Lewis is a beast don't get don't get it twisted so he's a tough guy but um Garn has got a really good game plan he moves real smooth he knows what how he knows where to break off he's got good takedown defense he has got power um he's more of a cumulative striker cumulative shots to take people out but he has got power as well um, look at him as a big guy. He's a big guy, so I'm sure he's got knockout power in the bag if he needed it. Um, but he's a dangerous, dangerous guy. High level, high level technical striker. Distance management control, distance control, lateral movement, strikes, jabs, mixes it up with kicks to legs, body kicks. He's a dangerous, dangerous guy. Um, and people are calling him a decision fighter. It, it depends. I think with him, if the opportunity presents itself, he will take you out. But if he doesn't present himself, he's going to play safe. Um, not safe, but he doesn't want to get taken out. He doesn't want to get knocked out, does he? So um, he, he's still an awesome fighter. Then we have the champion, Cameroon, Simi, Francis Ngannou. Yeah. Knockout artist. Knockout artist. You know what I mean? Selling, selling dudes to another planet. You know what I mean? Sending your head to the bleachers. You know what I mean? He touches you and you fall down. He breathes on you and you fall down. <laughs> I like Francis. I think Francis is awesome. Um, I'm happy for everything's achieved at this point, at this point in his career. Um, and he's 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 the champion. He's now got the champion. He's the champion. Took out Stipe. Um, brilliant, masterful performance from Francis. And it's it's what exactly what DC said. One of the most dangerous is Francis is the calm Francis. Just like people say, C-level Kane. <laughs> people just used to say, C-level Kane Velasquez. Calm Francis is dangerous, baby. He's dangerous. Um, he, he picks his shots. He's more, he's more calculated. He's more, more, of, a, more of a strategist. Uh, calm, calm Francis is dangerous. So I think Calm Francis is going to turn up again for this fight. It's going to be Calm Francis with probably little outbursts. If he sees open, he's going to rush in. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be very it's going to be very um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this fight. Francis have gone through who's who in the heavyweight division. He's beaten Junior De Santos, JDS. He's one of my favorite fighters. He's beaten Kane Velasquez, one of my favorite fighters. He's beaten Derek. Uh, no, no, he lost against Derek Lewis. Sorry, he beat um, Curtis Blades. He beat Rosa Strike. You know what I mean? Just run at him, handbags, everything, everything flying. He now beat Stipe. Um, people call it well. The greatest of all time at like heavyweight beat Steve Pay as well. He's beaten. <laughs> I really don't talk about Alistair Overeem. Alistair Overeem is a legend. He's awesome. But the uppercut he hit him with, even Alistair Overeem has to be like, damn. You know what I mean? It was mad, mad thing, mad thing. Um, so even he beat Alistair Overeem as well. So 
He's beating some big guys and he holds the title right now. My thing is for Francis is he needs to get his head in the game. You can't be thinking about this. I know there's a bit of dispute over this contract and stuff like that. I wouldn't even think or talk about that. He, this is something, this is wasted energy. He's letting, he's letting himself get sidetracked by even talking about it. I wouldn't even waste energy on that. I'd leave that where it is. Deal with the fight first and then talk about the contract. He can he could he could beat beat him up and then in the pro the pro um, the pre-fight speech with Joe Rogan like yeah I just knocked him out now Dana where's my contract at you know what I mean he could have done something like that you know what I mean or the post fight do talk about the contract but not before you need to go to the fight so I don't think he needs to just leave all that energy alone and focus on the fight um he this is I don't know I'm I'm saying this is a must win for Francis but I believe Dana is willing to do business with him regardless of what happens here. Um, I know he wants to box. That was his dream to box. Obviously, I, I know his whole story. I know his whole story. Um, if you don't know his whole story, go and check it out. It's on Wikipedia. And he did a um, a podcast with Joe Rogan on Joe Rogan Experience. He spoke about it all there. So I know I'd watched all of it. So I know his whole story. Mad thing. Um, but like he he needs to just focus on the fight. He's focused on the fight. He's won the championship, but he's not established himself as a champion yet. He needs some more title defences under his belt to establish himself as a champion. But he's the champion right now. And he's the man. He's the man. Don't get it twisted. He's the man. He can take you out at any time. But it's going to be a very interesting fight. They used to train together a little bit. Um, obviously, when it comes to promotion and train, training footage, they're probably going to put out selective clips to think, oh, oh, this guy might be able to beat Francis or whatever. Um, it's going to be selective clips you'll see. But we all know... It all depends what's happening in the cage. In training, you're not going to go full force. Um, other than sparring in boxing, jiu-jitsu, um, you're not going to go, you're not looking to go full force. I'm not trying to take anyone's head off or give anyone CTE. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm going to save my prediction until next week. But I just feel Francis needs to get his head in the game, stay in the game, and that's it. Cyril is going to have, he's going to, it's going to, it's going to be no different. I saw an interview with Cyril it's gonna, it's gonna be no different. He's just gonna. He said he knows how to cut off Frank, um, Francis's power, so he's probably gonna stay away from his power side, um, lateral movement to the other side, um, and just keep distance control. I believe that's what he's gonna do. It's gonna be like that. Francis has to know how to na navigate and negate that distance control that he's gonna use, and how to get around that. Um, but so it will be very interesting. But one thing I'll say: if Francis touches that chin, baby, if he taps your chin you can just tap your chin you're gonna be like wait a minute where's my legs gone and then you'll be waking up what do you what's going on the fight over <laughs> yeah bro you got knocked the f out bro <laughs> so let's see what happens uh i'm i'm all tuned in i can't wait to see it um i will do a uh, my prediction leading up to it and that'll be it now i will talk about the main card a few fights in there for the main card so we'll talk about that all right well that's for me on my little rant on UFC 270, main event. Um, like and subscribe. There's a lot more content. You, you're not going to get rid of me. You're going to see me all the time. Get used to me. Get used to me. I'm here now. I'm here. So like and subscribe, comment, like or dislike. <laughs> but you can follow me on Instagram as well below if you want to DM me or send me anything, any requests, any videos you want me to want me to do. Um, I'm here. Just remember, we cover. I cover MMA boxing and wrestling there's not not been any boxing on recently that i can really think about but i'm only going to cover the big fights anyway i'm out it's been good take care of yourselves